One Piece update. Oh, yes. I have a One Piece update for you. Hold on, I'm going to right now. Hold on. Yeah, personal news time, okay? Okay. So, personal news time. Um, last night, I ended the broadcast. Played some fucking sweet, sweet Valo, as you guys know. Um, ordered my chicken. And I watched One Piece. I'm finally done with the Skypea arc. That's right. Skypea arc is over. It was wonderful. It was emotional. It took me on a fucking journey. And uh, the next arc is filler from what I understand. But I will tell you, I will tell you this. It seems like a good filler arc. So I might actually end up watching it because, you know, it, it seems like a good, good filler arc, basically. It's not technically filler. Okay, well, it's it's designated as filler, but the prison arc, I like. Yeah, G8. So I'm going to be watching it. I gave it a shot. I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch the first episode because it kind of like throws you into it as though it's real, as though it's not filler. You know what I mean? And you're like, what the fuck's going on there? Well, anyway, um, I'll tell you what. I think that um, I think that Skypea was a bit long, was a bit convoluted, was a bit drawn out i think you could have trimmed the fat off that thing and it would have been uh an excellent piece i loved it originally and then it got way too long and i will say that about skypea and you never want to hear that about an arc you know what i mean you never want to leave an arc with the feeling that it's too long but unfortunately i think i think skypea was uh definitely long. did you like w wiper as a character no i did not I actually did not at all. Wiper as a character, basically, like, I thought he was so fucking cool originally. I'll tell you this much. I thought all the indigenous uh, guys were super cool, right? Like, I thought they were, like, very cool. But then after a certain point, his, like, endless anger, his endless anger that, like, basically pretty much up until the very last moment uh, is just, like, relentless. His relentless frustration, his relentless anger made me feel like uh like they could have written him a little bit more likable okay i'll just say it i know that this is going to frustrate a lot of people maybe some people will look at that and go you're wrong actually like it's supposed to be uh no no amount of anger that like an oppressed indigenous uh, population feels against uh all that they declare colonizers is understandable but what most people don't recognize is that like native americans for example were super fucking chill with like the Irish, you know what I mean? Like colonized people often have uh, a a shared sense of purpose and a solidarity with other colonized people, with other people who are victims of imperial actions, other people that are victims of genocide, and like Wiper does not have that perspective at all. He literally just straight up was like, everyone that's on this fucking piece of land, I hate. I'm gonna kill them. I don't give a fuck. And it pissed me off. You know what I mean? I was like, come on, like you should be. Yeah, maybe, maybe people will say, oh, typical Hassan, you fucking colonizer mindset piece of shit. Like you're looking at an indigenous population that was like basically fucking genocided and outcast from their own land. And you expect them to be like nice to at least some people. But I think the reason why they like, they made him too angry. They made him too angry and it made me basically not like him at all. And they didn't make him like a flawed character angry. They made his anger like relentless. You know what I mean? So yeah, they made him a one note character, which is bad storytelling. Thank you. He was not complex at all. And I did not like that until the very end. You know what I mean? Anaru is an interesting uh, villain. I liked him a lot, even though he was like the goat and made you feel like how the fuck would you actually ever defeat this thing okay and then yeah enel eneru eneru um and then all of a sudden you know you got the classic like well technically luffy is is rubber so yeah i mean that was expected but also like it that felt i don't know it was based off he's based off of eminem really something that's not in the anime but it's in the manga through volume covers enel goes to space is really funny they kind of allude to that in the anime as well when he's like literally fucking uh traveling with the maxim towards the moon which is really weird like like oh i'm gonna get endless verth it's like the fuck do you mean bro what 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 are you you're gonna die homie like good luck